Have you ever been stressed about your budget and your finances over the holidays? Well, today I'm gonna to share with you some tips of how to de-stress before it even starts. guys and welcome to Anderson Lane today. Today is the first day of our five part series about managing holiday stress. If you're new here, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below if you like what you hear and join our family so you don't miss out on any of our content. To kick off this series, I wanted to start with finances. Who gets stressed over their finances over the holidays? Dear Santa, could you send me a bike? No, your father's been laid off. I know I have a budget and everything and I still get stressed out about how much I'm spending because it's more than I usually spend in a, the time period even though we're prepared for it it still kind of stresses me out and makes me feel anxious so I wanted to share with you guys some tips about how to de-stress when you're talking about money during the holidays my first number one de-stress tip for the holiday budget crisis is to do that make a budget and in order to do that you need to make a list and honestly the best way to keep this stress free is to start your list at the beginning of the year I know we're past that point now a list is still gonna help you be not as stressed right now but if you can start it for next year after Christmas this year, you will find that it will go much, much smoother and you will be far less stressed. I just wanted to show you guys how I make my list. So I actually start with a list of everyone that I need to buy for. I have my immediate family at the top, so my husband and my kids, and then next tier is my parents and his parents, followed by those that we are specifically drawn names to buy for, which is a part of a tip that we'll tell you in a few minutes as well. And then all of the general that I'm buying for. And after that, we have people in the neighborhood and friends of my kids, teachers, friends of ours, Curtis's co-workers, those kinds of things come after that. The reason I tier it this way is because that is also kind of our budget tier. The top tier is kind of where we spend most of our money with our immediate family. Then our parents is usually next and the people that we are specifically supposed to buy for and then all of the rest kind of trickle down. I suggest that you get with your significant other and discuss your budget. This way you can discuss exactly who you both need to buy for, who's on that list for both of you, how much you're ready to spend or you can spend on each one of those areas. Now that you have your names and your budget on your list, it's time to kind of get some ideas of what you want to buy. What will happen if you don't have a written list of some ideas that you want is that you'll randomly grab things and you'll be like, oh, this is only $5 or this is only $20 or, you know, and then you'll all of a sudden realize that you spent like $200 on one person and like $10 on another. So have that list out and ready for you. I like to put mine on my phone on Evernote so that no matter where I'm at, I can see where I'm at on my list and then when I know that I've checked a person off, I highlight it in yellow. And again, I suggest doing this at the beginning of the year and here is the reason why. Little kids toys or trinkets and that kind of stuff, all of those things go on sale right after Christmas at the beginning of the year. And different things go on sale throughout the year. So if you're planning on, hey, one of the kids needs a new bike, maybe we can do that for next year. Keep a lookout, see when those are going on sale. And then you can put it away and pull it out for Christmas. And that doesn't go with just like bikes, that goes with appliances, that goes with sheets and bedding and clothes. All of it is gonna go on sale because they're trying to get rid of it so that they can bring in new stuff next year. This also spreads your budget through an entire year so you're not getting a financial crunch right in November and December so it doesn't seem quite as tight. Third area that we're gonna talk about is tips and tricks to save you money. So the first tip that I have is if you know that you're an overspender or if you know that you wanna strictly stick to your budget, take it out in cash. Now, you do have to stick to that because sometimes people will be like, okay, what I have is what I have for today, but I still need to go get a few things, so I need to get some more money out. Stick to your budget. Stick 
stick to your budget. Okay, so tip number two is about making gifts. Now this can go two ways. So we make gifts for the nieces and nephews that we draw names for. The gifts that we make are usually far more expensive than us going and buying them. The reason we do it isn't about the price tag, it's about them getting something that's homemade that we spend time on that they can keep for a long time. But homemade gifts aren't always as expensive. For my neighbor gifts, I usually make treats or jams or things like that. This saves me quite a bit of money and it's something that I know that they can use. So find out what you're good at. Are you good at photography? Could you give one of the people in your family a photo session? They would probably love that for their family. Are you good at computers? Could you do a diagnostic test on their computer? Something, something that you're good at. Hone in on what your skills are and then use those as gifts for people that you care about. Use your gifts as gifts. The next thing that I'm gonna talk about is Black Friday. I still do Black Friday shopping, but I do it the smart way. So you all know that you can find the Black Friday ads long before the week of Thanksgiving. You can go to the store's web pages and they have their sales already posted online. And many of the stores do sales prior to Black Friday that are really good, sometimes are even better than what you're gonna get on Black Friday and have more items available. So check through your list. If you're willing to pay that price and you think you're getting a great deal, then get that item now and don't worry about it. Now, if you are going to do your Black Friday shopping, go through those ads. Have your list next to you and go down your list and flip through those ads and find where the best deals are. This way, when you're going Black Friday shopping, you know where you need to go, which items you're gonna get, you're streamlined, you can get in there and try to get out as fast as you can. Now, I will mention that not all things that are on sale are going to show up on those Black Friday ads. There's always random things at Walmart in the aisles and Target that are not in those ads. Stay focused is what I have to say. Or if you know that you're gonna pick up a few of those things, then add that into your budget. Whatever that budget for those incidentals is, is up to you, but put that in your budget beforehand so you know that you have a little bit of leeway for those grab items that are in the aisles that are gonna get you. And now the last place that I wanna talk about is to talk with your family. If you have a large number of people that you're trying to buy for every holiday, maybe get together and say, hey, can we do a name drawing? I know families that they do family gifts. I know families that they don't do gifts at all and they just go on like a trip. That is their Christmas. There are a ton of different ways that you could do this. You just need to talk with your family and say, hey, would you guys be interested in doing this? I would guess that most of them would probably be relieved to be able to do something like that. And lastly, my best tip for financial stress relief during the holidays is to remember that things are things. At the end of the Grinch, it wasn't about the things, it was about the people being together. And in the end, the holidays are about people being together and sharing the spirit of Christmas. So it's not about the gifts, it's about the people. Fill the spirit of Christmas. I promise it will de-stress you. Your financial burdens will be lifted and you will have a far more enjoyable holiday. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave your holiday budgeting and financial tips down below. We'll see you again next time, guys. Bye.